हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते दिस इज पंजवानी शेफाली फ्रॉम टी एन राव कॉलेज फॉर टीचर्स एजुकेशन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ सौराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सी सी सिक्स दैट इज टीचिंग लर्निंग वैन वन वी टॉक अबाउट टीचिंग लर्निंग how can we forget about carol's contribution for the school learning model so here in today's session we will discuss about carol's school learning model first of all let's see about carol john bisel carol was an american psychologist he initially was the student of b f skinner and later joined l l thurston in 1963 Carroll proposed the model for school learning. Carroll believed that for effective teaching, time taken for teaching, sources and activities to be done should be properly planned and arranged. He thought that for the effective teaching, everything should be pre-planned. The activities that are to be included in our curriculum part, the planning of the time, time should be managed. everything should be pre planned he has given five elements attached to the teaching learning process and these elements are perseverance ability to understand teacher learners efforts opportunities and quality of instructions so first let's discuss the very first factor that is perseverance this factor is responsible for learning teacher has no control on this factor if perseverance is more in student for any one topic he may learn it quickly and takes no time if less perseverance here perseverance means attempt of the students or attempt of a learner for the learning process so if a student wish to learn any of the topic he may learn it quickly but if he is less interested in any of the topic then he may take the more time second factor is ability to understand this element has a relation with students grasping power skills and pre knowledge that is the reason teacher has to first know about their pre knowledge before introducing the new one and that is why we implement the introduction skill while starting our new topic or a new unit just because that we can get aware of the pre knowledge stored in the student itself and then we can link their pre knowledge with the new one in context the third, third factor is continue efforts and that is in context with the individual differences of learner time spent in continuous efforts for their learning by teacher is important and also the efforts spent by the learner to learn that topic is important efforts is the most important thing if the teacher and learner put their 100% efforts in teaching learning process then it can be the most effective one The fourth factor is opportunity. Opportunity means time given to students for learning. This factor is fully controlled by the teacher. If sufficient time is given to the learner according to their perseverance, then it can result into a good learning. Fifth factor is quality. Quality is dependent upon the teaching method selected by teacher. There are various different teaching methods, and it is all dependent how the teacher selects the method of teaching. If teacher has planned the lesson in accordance to students' pre knowledge and their perseverance, it may result into effective learning. As fast as the student learns the new concept, such as its quality, this factor is also controlled by teacher. Now further, we will see the interrelations between the elements. contributing to the learning process there were five total different factors that were contributing for the learning process and now we will see the relations between themselves school learning model proposed by john carroll in 1963 was mainly on the objective that school teaching is a function of time and that's why he said that school learning is equal to time in the extended form it is like school learning is equal to time spent for learning by time required for learning time spent for learning is function of continuous efforts and opportunity and is shown below as formula time spent for learning is opportunity into continuous efforts 
time required for learning is perseverance by quality of teaching so finally the formula for school learning becomes school learning is equal to opportunity into continue efforts by perseverance into quality so according to this teacher should give more opportunities to learner should encourage learner to try as a learner this should have high perseverance high understanding power and quality of teaching should be high by a teacher so here what are the teachers duty those are to provide more opportunity to encourage the learners and as in learner they should have the high perseverance and high understanding power quality of teaching should always be maintained by a teacher for an effective learning after continuous efforts and research carol made needful changes in his model and gave the final model in the year of 1989 in this model he added two more factors those were input and output and accepted finally six elements and proposed a new model showing their interrelations the diagram of those elements interrelation is shown here carol's school learning model now here he has proposed a total six elements and he has added two more elements those are input and output input as aptitude and output as academic time needed to learn is given into the four different elements and what is the output of that that is the academic achievement how much the learner has achieved academically the four elements are opportunity to learn ability to understand instructions quality of instructional events and perseverance time student is willing to spend learning uses of carol's school learning model are for the effective use of carol's school learning model teachers should give more opportunity to learn well. for learning students should be continuously encouraged should be first aware of students perseverance and their ability of understanding it should increase the quality of teaching thank you everyone namaste